Quasi Macram was just 18 when he made his first class debut against a touring New Zealand team. President's eleven versus uh, New Zealand side, all the top players uh, were there at the time and I got called that uh, you'll be playing in three day game and Javed Miyadad, uh, the great player at the, of his era, was the captain of that particular game. He made sure that I play that game and I've got seven for 50. I don't know how I got those wickets, but I got those seven wickets for 50 runs in that particular game. And John Wright is out, well caught in the gully. Wazi Makram has his first test wicket. Wazi made his test debut shortly afterwards on the return tour of New Zealand. He was just 18 when he took 10 wickets in the third test. New Zealand, Akram bowling to Jeff Crow. Oh, good ball, appeal for LBW, and Jeff Crow is out. My aim was what I learned from Javed Miyadad, Imran Khan, Mudassar Nazar at the time, who were my mentors, who were my heroes, and Javed Miyadad was a captain at the time. They told me, if, if, if you want to play longer, well, uh, say about 10 years or to 15 years for, for your country, you've got to work hard, you've got to work hard every day. Doesn't matter you perform or you don't perform, be at the ground, practice hard, try different things in nets. And I picked up this very early. I didn't want it to be a one test wonder or one to a wonder. That's out, that's a marvellous catch by Anil Delpat, the wicketkeeper. And Akram's got five wickets. From New Zealand, Pakistan travelled to Australia to take part in a world championship of one-day cricket. Against the Australians, he took the first five wickets for 13 runs. He made a, an absolutely huge impact on world cricket, having made his test match debut in New Zealand, when he then came over for the world championship of cricket, uh, which was a one-day tournament which took place in Australia in uh, early 1985. He played against Australia in Melbourne and devastated the top order and all of a sudden said, oh, Here's a top-class left-arm fast bowler out of Pakistan, and that really was a shaker for everyone. In 1986, Wazim helped the Pakistani team to one of their most famous victories. That was a great series. First time touring India after a long time, and Pakistan team gets great reception in India. And Pakistan and India cricket is more than ashes in my book. More pressure, everybody is involved. And at that time, Pakistan and India have hardly played any cricket. So it was a, a big pride, you know, proud moment for any Pakistani, or in fact for any Indian to compete against each other and win. He played a very big role in that series. I mean, the pitches were dead for the first four test matches. And uh, he kept getting his two, three wickets in every game and kept chipping in his runs. I realized as a bowler that I've got pace now. I can bowl bounces to anyone without taking a square leg back. So that was good, that was good to know as a bowler. Still only 20, Wasim returned home a national hero. It's a fanatical place to play in Pakistan, as we know. Um, we, we, we can't comprehend what it's like until you've visited that country and see what the people are like and uh, these cricket players are, are national heroes they're like we would uh, have I don't know pop stars or footballers at the highest pedigree that's what their cricketers are like as soon as they go out uh, into the public areas they are mobbed completely and utterly surrounded by adoring people In 1987, Pakistan enjoyed its first series win in England. It was a, really a fine Pakistan side when you go through it with Imran and with Javed Me and Dad Abdul Qadir. It was an excellent side, and Wazim Akram was a, a key component in that side. Imran told me in '86 to you're touring, uh, you'll be touring uh, uh, to England '87 next year. So I want you to play a league cricket. So he organised me to play uh, of, uh, league cricket for a club called Burnup Field in Durham. It was different. The weather was cold. Uh, the ball wasn't swinging, it was seeming as league wickets up north are slightly slower. So you have to have a different length. So I got to know the length and got to know the pace that I have to pitch it up a lot more here than in any other country. So that was a great help for me before the England tour. The following year, Wasim took up a contract with Lancashire in English county cricket. I was very privileged to work with Akram at Old Trafford as coach of Lancashire. He was overseas player. And, and it might be my fault, but I made him captain as well. I could see this guy as a, a natural leader. And the Lancashire players had a nickname for him, and, and they just called him King. We'll follow you anywhere. He had a, a magnificent team meeting the first time he was captain. And we're out there doing the prelims and a bit of catching here and there and warming up generally. 
and he said to me, you got team in dressing room, I want to talk to team. So I got everybody in, dressing room, everybody in, sit down, right captain, over to you. And his only words were, come on, I have dream. And he just left it at that, and, and there's that sort of pause, and I've gone, right then, well, well come on. And out they went, and they'd follow him anywhere, and he was a great leader. I generally would have batted in the middle order against him, so very, very tough coming in when the ball was, was swinging, you know, reverse swinging at real pace, 90 miles an hour, was one of the toughest challenges, you know, I, I came up against. I would say he could hit you on the head, he could knock your middle pole out, and he could hit you on the foot. He wasn't a line and length bowler. He could sort of line up. He could deliver so many different deliveries to you as a, as a quick bowler. And I found him one of the hardest bowlers I ever had to face. Uh, you know, in, in full flight, uh, when, when he really wanted to crank it up, was, was a very fast bowler as well. Once again, the timing, absolutely magnificent. He just leant on that. His first test century against Australia came in remarkable circumstances. Every so often he would produce an innings which proved that he was actually a batsman of great talent, who was capable of, um, of producing runs when they were needed. Um, he played once or twice in his test career some extraordinary examples of hitting, but he also played some innings that were very sensible, and probably the best example of that was his first test hundred. Uh, when he scored 100 in Adelaide, um, batting for a long time with Imran Khan. End up making uh, a fantastic 100, uh, played a lot of brilliant shots. Uh, it was an innings I didn't think he was capable of playing, in that um, you know, there was some resolute defence in amongst the, the big hits. Beautifully played. That's a great shot. 10-4 to Wazim Akram, none better than that one. Highest test match score.